Hello and welcome again to a spot of positivity and it's work with me Wednesday and I'm Rosalie and I thought I would do a little bit of um, a Zentangle thing with you today again and so here I go. Um, today I thought it'd be fun to do another card kind of um, birthday card in 10 minutes so I have 10 minutes just under 10 minutes actually just under 10 minutes okay nine and a half so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna try something I mean this is a complete experiment to me so I hope you enjoy this too um, let's move this this way I have a pencil I have a couple of micron pens 0 0.005 just a second and a 0 0.01 or just zero one and I'm going to see what I can do so what I'm going to start with it is just writing happy birthday so this is just seeing if this will work I'm just gonna lightly not do anything very fancy I'm going to the side of my pencil I'm gonna see how that this goes okay this is me totally experimenting with you no I'm just going to the side of my pencil so that I get kind of a thick line with the side of my pencil okay so this as you can see is not fancy writing now i have developed this technique myself maybe maybe i haven't somebody else must have done this before but what i'm going to do is take this kind of writing i'm going to take my very finest pen i'm going to outline all the bits and bumps not straight lines that i've done for happy birthday so really going over everything please pardon my football fans in the background it just happens here we hope the best team will win tonight just a second see now that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go over each each letter and just take where the pencil has been we can erase the pencil later if we want we don't have to see it's the rougher the better actually because it looks kind of cool So I'm actually just outlining it, even where the pencil isn't even. And it's going to look really cool. I normally take my time with this, but I actually want to get something done and have this look good. And you know as much as me about what this card is going to look like, because I do not have a clue what I'm going to do. So in a way, we are creating together and actually, because this is in a book, I may not end up using it as a card. Actually, I could take it out of the book and glue it onto a card. It would be quite pretty if I glued it onto a colorful thing. See now, look at that. It looks pretty cool. I purposely made the the um, pencil not completely even because it makes it so much more fun. Well, it's quite cool, doesn't it? There we go. Am I going on to the happy? And how far are we down that? Okay, this is just under four minutes, so we're getting there. Again, I love all the little bumps. Now here, and there's a little white space in here. I'm just gonna carve that out, which looks really cool. Do, do, do. It would look really cool with maybe some watercolor or maybe some colored pencils, but for now we're going black and white and you can do whatever you want with it afterwards be fun if some people try this at home and send some pictures in either on youtube or on the facebook group spot a spot of positivity that's how you'll find it i love to help people Discover their creative side. Now look at that. 
Isn't that fun? Okay, now what should we do with this? How about... Uh, I could make a little kind of... A little twirly curl thing in it. Just... That's the kind of the string thing you'd make for a Zentangle. I need a little bit of a... A little bit of um, inspiration here. So, how about we go for this middle twirl and we do something in here. What I'm going to do is make some lines. Go right up the way. From a very finest 005 pen. Now, I'm just really making it up as I go along. As I said, you really know as much as I do about this, how this is going to go along. I'm using the pencil, pencil lines I've made already. And I'm making some very tiny lines. There we go. How about we make a little, little dot at the end of each of these lines. They look a little bit plant-like then. A little botanical. And see how... We can develop it. Mm -hmm. Now, that makes me think, how about we frame it with some leaves? This is totally fun because I, like you, have no idea. How about some little leaves at that? And then they need a little, I don't know what you call this little leaf, the, the vein that goes up the middle. And another one here. I love spontaneity. There you go. It's life-giving. Some people will be going, what are you doing? Now, how about a little bit of a scalloped edge along this twirl? You don't want to be taking away from the letters here. So very, very light. Okay. And in between each scallop, a little bit of a dot. Okay, so that is fine. How about now we do something along here? Now, I'm going to make this into a little bit of beadwork. How much time do I have left? Okay, I've got two minutes left to make this gorgeous. It's not quite from start to finish because a bit of color might do something wonderful. There we go. I'm going to make these little beads go smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. Up there. Okay. And then I think I'm going to do that all the way from here. Big, big loops. And they're going to get smaller by the time they get there. Okay. There we go. And if you can kind of go behind those letters as if the letters are actually in front. And there we go. So it's kind of gone whoop, from big to small to the very little dots at the end. I think in this area we could use some boxes. So I'm going to do a similar thing with boxes as I just did with, I just did with the beads. And again, we have some Passionate football fans in the background, please excuse them. Okay, little little tiny ones are getting smaller, getting smaller. There we go. Okay, how about this little thing here? What should we do with that? Hmm. Shall we go for bigger boxes? Let's go for bigger boxes. Now, usually in Zentangle, I would Go slower so that, oopsie, so that I could, um, I could be really mindful and everything, but this is my own little challenge. Now, I went off course there. I decided that, that does not matter because it's going to have to connect here. There we go. And we'll just not worry about that. I'll just do a little extra box there. 
and one here. Now, how much time do we have? Oh, it's 10 minutes. Okay, let's, I'm just going to cheat. I'm going to take one more minute to finish this off. I want to emphasize the letters a little bit. So I'm going to go under the little bits here so that it really emphasizes them because the patterns could take away from them. I'm going to go around the edges like that. Now, I think it's desperately crying out for a little bit of color, but that we can do afterwards. There we go. How about just a little something a tiny bit literal. How about a little flower here and here. So I'm just going to go for a little flower. Very. I'm not doing much stuff very exactly in this because that's how we how we made our um, letters. And a couple here, and I think that's going to be us done. I'm going to do a little leaf there, and a little leaf there. Do. So, yeah, happy birthday. Oh. I don't know, that's not the most amazing thing I've ever made in my life. But that's how challenges go. Sometimes they're amazing, sometimes they're not. I think that would benefit from a little bit extra love and attention, maybe some color. And I'm totally cheating because this is over, over oh. 10 minutes. And there you heard a little bing from my phone, which is telling me, stop, 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 stop. There we go. How's that? That's getting there a little better. With a bit of color, it would be fun and cool to send. So there we go. If you've enjoyed watching this little video of creation, as I hope you have, please like and subscribe and try something. Why not try something new today? Bye bye.